my reflux condenser so um, as you can see with that white piece there that's where it goes up to my needle valve from my needle valve it runs back up into the end inlet of the reflux condenser and then it goes out from the reflux condenser and yeah I just got a temperature probe in there just to see what the temperature of the water is that comes out of the reflux and from there it runs back into this bucket and this is about uh, roughly about uh, well, I would say about 20 litres for about 3 litres that I've uh, or about 2.5 litres that I already caught so it's roughly about 20 litres of water and it's just coming straight from the esky same pump that's pumping the water up to the, the main condenser So I'll show you what the temperature temperature of the so this is where it's coming from the main main condenser it cools down the vapors just runs at the back of the esky and then it will run back back into the esky I just got an elbow there and it runs back and just flows back into the esky uh, the SK I'm using is about 120 litres a little about 3 quarters uh, the current temperature on the water temperature is about I think it's about 30 uh, it's getting about 30 degrees and it's just, just a fish tank thermometer that I'm using to, to see what the temperature is so no need to change any water that's the fountain pump, 6,000 litres per hour fountain pump that I'm using to recirculate the water. So that's the pump there going into the Y piece. From the Y piece, it splits to the left, which is that spot here. Going into the input of the condenser, flows back up in to the outlet of the condenser and back into the esky which is this pipe here the other T piece where a Y piece is it goes up to the regulating needle valve to regulate the flow of the water going to the reflux condenser and it travels up pumps the water up all the way to the reflux condenser right at the top and then it flows back out and that's where the temperature uh, probe is for the outlet water and it runs into the bucket there it's that stainless steel bucket um, I mean, thank you for watching I'm showing you my double PID controller bolt and just the setup I'm running I hope it's very informative for you um, this is the little stream that's coming from the reflux so I don't know if you can see that steady little stream just enough to give you a little bit of reflux still running 78 at the top of the head of the column I haven't touched anything on the PID that's still set at 90 degrees Water temperature 
on the reflux is 74.9 Uh, still getting about about ninety percent ABV. So at the moment, the thermostat just kicked in. The PID, and as you can see, it's starting to flow. Nice and steady little stream. Yeah, the PID just kicked off. As you can see, you now what is going to the element. No amps. Yeah, she just kicked back in. 2015 watts, 8.6 amps. That's 30 degrees. It's the inside of the box. Show me how hot the. Uh, SSR relays get and that LED on the left shows me when the uh, power is going to the element which is just a 12 volt LED that's going straight to the PID SSR output the SSR output is 12 volt DC So we're still running a nice steady little stream there. Still running at 90 degrees. And this parrot, it's doing its job like it's supposed to. Got a little vent hole on the top there, as you can see. And obviously it's a little bit higher than the overflow. And then she just overflows. Oh, it's still a little stream. So currently it's uh, 15.47 and I've started the catch at 15.20. And it's almost about three quarter bottle. Thanks for watching. Cheers.